They're words every Canadian government hates to hear. We're going to buy American. We're going to buy American. That protectionist pledge was one of the few moments that U.S. President Joe Biden received bipartisan support during the State of the Union. And on my watch, American roads, bridges, and American highways are going to be made with American products as well. But Biden isn't the only U.S. politician who's pushed this platform. We will follow two simple rules. Buy American and hire American. It's a rare issue that Trump, Biden, and the majority of the American people all agree on. Recent polls show that 75 percent of Democrats and 60 percent of Republicans support increased Buy America policies. Biden's plan would freeze out Canadian companies from bidding on U.S. federal government contracts, which spells bad news for the Canadian economy. There's $8 billion in cross-border trade of lumber, $17 billion for steel, and half a billion in asphalt contracts, all in jeopardy if Biden tightens trade rules. And that's the disappointing thing. I think Canadians expected when Donald Trump left office that we'd see a very different approach being taken by a new administration. Instead, what we've seen is President Biden doubling down on a number of the measures that Donald Trump put in place. The goal of the policy, to try and bring more jobs back to the U.S. and increase manufacturing. But many economists say it actually drives up costs. If you're looking at it from a consumer welfare perspective, it leaves consumers uh, worse off. The Canadian government plans to lobby members of Congress who have close business ties with Canada to try and put pressure on the administration. This is an issue that is a uh, top priority for me, and uh, we're going to keep working on this. The U.S. federal government is currently studying how to implement the Biden Buy America policies, and that gives the Liberals some time to try and carve out a Canadian exemption with the U.S. administration. Farah. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa. Thank you, Mackenzie.